are you? Welcome back to my channel for a very fun, kind of out of the norm video. Today we are going to be investigators into something that I have recently found that I'm just really curious about. I discovered that there is this app called Selfie Styler that will utilize the camera on your phone within its app to figure out your exact sizes and then it will take you onto a shopping platform that has various different brands and pick the exact right size for you based off of whatever items you decide to buy. I am curious to see if this works or not specifically for myself because I have a, a pretty interesting body type. I am pretty hair shape. I'm very small on the top. I do have very wide hips. I'm an actor if you don't know me, so hi. My name is Mikkel. And so because of that, at auditions, we know all of our measurements. We know all of our inches. We have to write them down every time we go in audition. So I do know that my hips are 16 inches larger than my waist. Because of that, it is usually pretty difficult for me to shop, especially for pants. It is very hard for me to find pants that fit my body type accurately. So I feel kind of guilty trying out this technology on myself because if it can get me right, it, it will be difficult, but it will be fun to see how it goes. So a couple weeks ago, I downloaded this app and I started the ordering process. I actually took video footage, like a screen recording, so I'll put it right here while I explain what I did. I actually recorded the measurement process when Brooke was still asleep. That's my husband, I live in a studio, so I was in our kitchen trying to be as quiet as possible, so excuse the sweatpants. I set it up on a counter and I stepped away to where my whole body was in a frame and it walked me through different poses that it wanted me to do and then boom, it was done. I was actually pretty surprised. It was a quicker process than I was expecting, which means if it works, that's really impressive, but it does make me a little bit nervous because I'm like, dang, you got it just from that? All right, we'll see. <laughs> so after that, I went ahead and scrolled through um, and I was impressed with the variety of brands. With something like this, my expectations were kind of low for the types of clothes that it would offer, but there was a ton of really cute things and a ton of variety of brands and variety of price points as well. They had some really like high quality things. I picked a couple more affordable items just because that's realistically what I would buy as a newlywed. To really test this out, I went ahead and picked out one top, one dress, and the hardest part, a pair of jeans. I went ahead and picked out this dark wash pair of jeans because that is what I have to wear to work is this really, really dark wash denim. And my current pair of jeans, I've been wearing to work every single day for a year and a half and they're ripped in a million places. So I actually need new work jeans. So if these fit, that would be incredible. So with that, I went ahead and ordered and within a week, I got two packages. I have yet to open the packages, but they are here. So I figured let's open it together. Let's take a look at it, assess the quality and everything and then try it on and see if the sizes actually fit. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm nervous for the pants. <laughs> okay, these are the two packages they came in. I opened up the top just to make sure that they were the correct things, but I have not opened up the individual pieces of clothing yet. First is this dress. The brand is Blue Pepper, which it sounds super familiar. I'm trying to think of where I've heard of Blue Pepper before. A lot of these brands sounded very familiar to me. The length is a length that I adore. It's kind of like a midi length. I do think that the sleeve detail is super duper fun. Let's see what size I ended up sending. Ooh, they sent me a medium. That is interesting. I am very tall. I'm not very tall, but you know, for an average female, I'm like 5'7", nearing 5'8". I know the average height for females, what, 5'4"? So perhaps that's why they picked a larger size, but this isn't a wrap dress. And normally in not wrap dresses, I'm a small or even sometimes an extra small. So this will be super interesting. On first look, the quality does feel really nice. It feels like a material that wouldn't really get wrinkled very easily, which is something that I really appreciate, especially right now in my current apartment. I am moving, thank goodness. But in my current apartment, I go to the laundromat, so, and I hate folding clothes there. So what I actually do is I wash and dry everything and then shove it back into my laundry baskets and drive home as fast as possible before things get wrinkled so I can fold at home in the comfort of my own home. So I do always look for material that will not get wrinkly. From up close, I actually think that the polka dots are a little bit larger than I would like, but from far away, this kind of look, I, I, do, I do really like. The style is very Reformation to me. They have a lot of like, very small patterned uh, dresses on their website. So that will be interesting to try on, but let's look at the other couple of things first. Okay, next is the top. Oh good, they sent me a small. 
I'm very glad. This is just a really fun lace black cami. I picked this because it is a wrap top. I know it's probably hard to tell on camera when things are all black, but I love things with the wrap feature because it does accent my waist. I really like this lace detail. I think that this top is really stunning um, and it has this tie right here. The brand of this one is Escape. Oh, by Blue Pepper. <laughs> That's funny. It says it's based out of Los Angeles too. I might be biased because I live in LA, but I always trust things based out of LA. I am more confident on this fitting than the dress since the dress is medium. But now the moment of truth, let's take a look at the jeans, see what size they decided to send me. Oh wow, these are like very sturdy denim. This is actually higher quality than I was expecting from online. Okay, they sent me a 26, which is a size five. Holding it up, this looks like it actually would be my size and it is a stretchy material. So I feel confident about it. I usually buy all of my pants from Madewell and in Madewell I'm actually a 24-25 depending on the denim type. I'm a 24-25 if it's stretchy enough to fit over my hip. My waist inches is actually 23, which is why it is so hard for me to buy pants. So traditionally a 26 would lead me to believe it would be big on my waist, but looking at this, this looks much smaller than a typical 26. I do know that they have a different algorithm based on each brand type so perhaps they know that these jeans might run a little bit small so they might have sized me up even though my normal measurements would say I'd be more of a 24 25 I actually really do hope these fit the brand is can can K-A-N-C-A-N also says based out of Los Angeles. That's really funny. I did not intend to pick out three things based in Los Angeles, but I like the rise. This wash is exactly what I need for work. I need new work pants. Lord, please let these fit. I'll be very impressed if they do. Let's start easy and then go more difficult. What do you say? Let's start with the top. Okay, <laughs> I really love this top. I am super impressed. I felt confident from first glance that this one would fit, but I also didn't expect it to be as flattering as it is. I really love like how, here I'll show you the way this looks untied. This piece of fabric, a pretty like long, large piece. So that would make this be a more flowy top until you tie it. But when you tie it, it makes this a little different from most like lace camis because it really does bring it in at your waist and then flare out. Um, I also think it just adds a lot of like, I don't know why my brain wants to say architectural interest because this is not a building, but it adds a lot of interest. I'll just say interest. So with a different bra underneath it, obviously, I think this would be really cute for like a date night out with some jeans and some heels. Here is a look at the lace detail on the top. A look at the back of the shirt. The app definitely calculated my top torso correctly. This fits me really well. This might be an easier shirt to fit since it is like a tie top, but there's no extra additional sagging room in the bust area or anything like that. So I, I am impressed. One out of three. I'm nervous about the medium sized dress. Let's try it on now. Okay, my first thoughts are I absolutely love this dress. Like this dress is so fun. The colors, the pattern, everything. But what we're talking about here is the size. I don't think it looks bad. I'll show you a full body. I like the length and I like the flowiness and it is definitely my style, but I do think I would have gotten a size small. There is a bit of extra fabric on the side. So this is what the medium looks like as opposed to something more fitted. I do think that that would be more flattering than this. That being said, I also don't know how this dress is intended to fit. A more relaxed dress is also a good look. I'm going to rate its ability to pick out my correct dress size a six out of 10 on this. The shirt I give a 10 out of 10. This, I do think I would have gotten a small, maybe even an extra small. But as I said, I don't know, that might just be my personal preference. I might just like dresses to really hug my waist. One thing that I was thinking is like, maybe if they got a smaller size, the fabric would have been too clingy on my hips. But I feel like there is enough extra fabric here to where if I did size down, it would still fit my hips properly. So all in all, success on the shirt, iffy on the dress. But I do really like this dress. Okay, should we try the hardest thing? I'm nervous. I don't think I own any pants in 26, but those do look really small. So let's go ahead and try on the jeans and see if they fit. The moment of truth, I have on the jeans. First 
thoughts. The material is very different than I was expecting, even different from when I pulled it out of the package. It is a like very jegging material. I could do a lot in this. <laughs> but it's like a sturdy jegging material. I think the fact that it is not denim per se makes it probably have greater allowance for size differences because it could stretch smaller if it's too big or it can stretch wider if it's too small. I love how high-waisted it is. There is a little bit of room on the back here, but less than I was expecting since I normally buy pants two inches smaller. Like I said, I don't know if that's because of this material that it kind of like <laughs> With a belt, I do think that this would fit really well. I'll show you a full body. And my legs are really long, so having denim that actually reaches my ankle is pretty hard to find. Here is a full body look at the jeans. Like I said, it's super duper stretchy. I do think that these pants are smaller than a normal 26. I think it did a good job reading my body and predicting the size difference between this brand and other brands. It also probably took into account that this is stretchy, so it could probably do like a little bit of a size bigger. Plus, if your weight fluctuates, if I'm bloated or whatever, it's nice to know that these would still fit. I don't even need to wear a belt with these from the front. It's just more from like the side and from the back that a belt would be nice. I do think I will keep these though. Though they are a little bit loose, I think they're perfect for work, especially with the amount of mobility that I need being a server. I'm actually gonna give this a thumbs up for the pants, which I wasn't expecting at all. So double thumbs up for the shirt, medium thumbs for the dress, and then a thumbs up for the pants is how I feel. Overall, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that an app learned my sizes in about 30 to 60 seconds with very minimal input from me and actually could use an algorithm with different brands to pick out what would most likely fit me the best. Two out of three is pretty good, especially for pants. I was really worried that I would not fit into whatever pants that they decided to send me. I was also impressed with the amount of choices on their website and I thought this was a super fun, out of the norm thing to try. If you're interested in trying it, I'll go ahead and link all the information down below so that you can find the same app and everything that I used for this video. I can also see if I can link these exact pieces down below. Let me know if it works for you or not. Wouldn't this be crazy if this is the future of all shopping? Like if all brick and mortar stores were gone and you didn't need to try on anything because your camera could tell what sizes you already were so you just go on and pick everything online. Is this the future? That's crazy. This was such a fun challenge. If you enjoyed this challenge, let me know down below. Maybe I can do other kind of investigative, exploratory types of videos, which is something that I don't do very often, but I think is super fun. So if that sounds good to you, that sounds great to me. I love you guys so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.